This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Sorry about that, Twisted Sisters. What a great description. Why are you blushing? This is not happening, Mion. I do not make out with serial killers. I put on my shoes, tapped my toes against the floor a few times, and then left. And Mion timidly came over. Why is she turning all red at a time like this? No. It was such a modest request. You probably should! With my permission, her face lit up with glee, like a child being given a toy, and she took my arm. We don't really want that. I gotta say, I really don't think we want that. Yes, but not because I'm embarrassed. I'm more worried that you have a gun on you. Back then, nothing had gone wrong yet. Or back when, during those nostalgic days of the bustling commotion at the Angel Mort, I counted back and was amazed. It had only been one week ago. I had been arm in arm with Shion then, too. Linking arms with Mion like this really reminded me that they were twins. Well, this still might be Shion. How much strength they had put into it, the sensation of their arms, their warmth, and the blood flowing. I could feel that the living sensations were all exactly the same. If this were a regular conversation, I might have jumped back red in the face. Right now, though, no matter what I heard, my mind remained at peace. Mion Shion no, I don't think they did! Yeah, they're perfectly synergized. え?右手と左手?それは仲がいいとか悪いとか、そういう言い方で例えるものじゃないな。そういう関係だから、仲がいいとか悪いとか、そういう尺度では測れない関係。that didn't sound like it meant they got along really well. There's a hand you use more, that doesn't mean it's better than the other hand. Hey, some of us have their left hand as their dominant hand, Mion, so screw off. そんな、よくわからない関係だね。多分、それは近くに居すぎるから見えなくなっているだけで、きっととても仲のいいことなんだと思う。俺は一人っ子だから、祭りの前日、ミオンとシオンが二人してじゃれ合っているのを、すごく羨ましいと思った。ないものねだりじゃないの。双子なんて昔は人をからかったりしてそこそこに面白かったけど、こうして互いがはっきりと異なる個性を持った今ではかえって邪魔なだけ。Were they cursed or were they self-conscious? Their relationship was hard to understand for an outsider. Maybe that wasn't an issue someone like me should intrude on. Just staying silent and nodding gently was the best way to advance the conversation. Oh, that's true, I forgot about that, DX. <laughs> Mion passed through a wide yard and invited me into the big desolate forest we'd seen on the way in. Such a big forest was part of their property, so I couldn't help but feel small. <sighs> Mion seemed to be silently reminiscing. I couldn't look into her mind, but she was probably thinking back to those fun days when they played as sisters without any antagonism. Every time the wind blew, it caressed the treetops and the leaves, making a swishing, murmuring sound. Mion remained silent for a long time. Oh, come on, are you going to stab us or aren't you? Thinking back on her younger sister, whom she had gotten rid of with her own hands, there was no need for me to get a word in. Just walking like this, arm in arm, was enough. This is weird! Am I the only one who thinks this is effing weird? Super not okay? Why, are, why is the game treating this like it's a normal and cool thing to do? She killed ten people! <laughs> Mion suddenly stopped and turned. Really? 
Did she just run away? <laughs> Mion took a hard look into my eyes and then nodded quietly. Was DX's prediction correct? That she disappeared like Satoshi? <laughs> oh, never mind. You just locked her up. Why are you saying that with a smile on your face while you're we're holding hands? This is freaking weird. Mion sounded as though she hated Shion, but also, deep down, she didn't completely detest her. She literally just said she wanted to give her the most gruesome death of all! What is wrong with you? So I took my other hand and rustled Mion's hair with it. This is ridiculous. Why? Just for once, couldn't I play a normal visual novel? My gosh. Mion didn't only save me. She saved Shion, too. I wouldn't call locking someone up planning to kill them saving them. Mion may have become a demon and led many people to their deaths, but she fought against it and was able to save two people. She literally... I'm sorry, but the fact that she killed Rika... That, that's like... Look, like... Rika was completely innocent. Like, did nothing wrong. And you just are like, I have to kill her. Like, I, you think I'm going to feel sorry for you now? No, I'm not. Screw you. Go to jail. <laughs> Why are we petting her if she killed ten people? <laughs> she narrowed her eyes in an entranced smile. This is... Yeah, what is he doing? He's being effing weird. As I petted Mion, she narrowed her eyes with an entranced smile and untangled her arm from mine. Then, Mion quietly said, What the heck does that mean? Are we going to be taken to the corpses of all the people you killed? <laughs> yeah, let's not do this. Let's not do this. I could sense it. There would probably... Uh, there I would probably find... All the sacrifices up until now. Looking at them would mean accepting Rika and Satoko's deaths. As well as accepting that my best friend had done it. Don't do this! Then she's just going to kill us right there as well. I'm not letting you go off on your own! No. I was taken aback by how ominous that sounded. I remembered what Rena had told me. Mion might not surrender herself to justice, but choose to put an end to things herself. I couldn't leave her on her own. Besides, I agreed to her last request, didn't I? Even if it was hard for me to accept, I'll still do it. Even if I avoided looking, it was... something that had already happened. This is not going to end well. Even though she killed ten people? Even though she killed ten people? Ah! This is ridiculous. The treetop swayed, softly swayed in the wind. Normally I'd say something rude right back at her, evading the question. But today I didn't. I just answered with a smile. At last, Mion started walking into the thick forest, into the deepest part. After following a thin path that looked like an animal trail for a while, we finally came across a steep incline with a tunnel that reminded me of a coal mine or a bomb shelter. We were surrounded by shallow hills. It had been created in a spot not visible from the outside. There were many silhouettes of crows in the trees here and there. The abnormal odor I'd been smelling for a while was doubtlessly escaping from inside this place. I wonder what that odor could be! <laughs> oh, that, that's a pretty good thumbnail right there, actually. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I clench my fists. Inside there was probably a sight beyond anything I could imagine. If I let my guard down, I might end up vomiting. Even so, I'll endure it. I'll overcome this pain and this suffering. 
It will never change that Mion is my greatest friend. Oh no, it's gonna change. Is it because he's a dimwit? Mio made a gesture like she was wiping tears from her eyes, then placed a hand on the big door at the tunnel entrance. How did we go from, like, the brilliant writing of last stream to this? The lock on it was dauntingly strong looking. It seemed to demand the appropriate resolution from whoever would enter, just like the ritual storehouse. When the double doors opened, a stifling rotten air and a bunch of winged insects came rushing out. I remembered accidentally killing a hermit crab a long time ago by leaving its tank out on the porch, and how intense that odor it left was. If that was the smell of a corpse, then that's certainly what this smelled like. Inside, it was pitch black, but Mion flicked a switch that turned on a light bulb, illuminating the interior. The path turned into a series of intricate wooden tunnels. Why are we letting her take us down here into the torture death chamber? Just adding one more corpse to the Shadow Temple, that's what we're doing. We passed spaces that looked like they were for storage. We passed places that looked like someone had lived there. All this indicated that it had been used as a bomb shelter and a stockpile during the war. It didn't give the impression of a dugout bomb shelter that had just been left there, though. There was a sense of dignity, as though this were a second Sonazaki house constructed underground. Despite being in pitch darkness below the ground, the voices of the cicadas were entering through an air hole somewhere, giving it a very mysterious feel. あれは全て鬼が淵村の厳しい戒律を守るために作られたものだった。戒律を破ったものを見せしめに無言らしく殺して見せる。大昔の話だろ。本来は見せしめの儀式。渡長氏は御三家が取り仕切る儀式だった。
見てくれている観客はいなかったけど私は綿流しを上手にやってみせたいや観客は一人だけいたかなえ観客私私という鬼がミオンの取り行う綿流しをずっと見てたから She keeps referring to herself as a demon I'm not sure if she's doing this to try and like separate in Keiichi's mind ミオン from the thing that killed everybody as a ways to be like don't think too badly of me if she genuinely thinks she's a demon or if she actually is a demon <laughs> It would be much more interesting for me if it was the last of those. Mion cackled in self deprecation. It wasn't a nice sounding laugh. She nodded slightly. Mion's Watanagashi had ended today. I needed to tell Shion that I was safe without a moment's delay. But is it Shion or Mion who's imprisoned? After all, she was probably trembling in fear at this very moment, worrying about when she would be killed. The ostent ostentatious door on the other side opened, revealing it must have been made an incre it must have been an incredibly expansive space based on the echo it made. Mion groped around in the darkness, and a handful of naked light bulbs came on here and there. As my eyes adjusted, more and more of the great cave showed itself in the faint light. The walls were bare rock surface, and it felt so savage that bomb shelter was the most apt term for it. There were small barred rooms built here and there, like holes made by insects biting their way through a giant piece of fruit. It was immediately clear that each one of them was a prison. What on earth is this? I'm sorry. I thought we were playing Higarashi when they cry, not exploring the kingdom of Malkaris and Madameo. I grimaced at her having said so outright. <laughs> so I can't even see their faces in death. Once again, my feelings of regret at having confessed everything to Rika came surging forth. If Mion hadn't attached the word sorry to the end of what she said, I might have punched her. Calm down, Keiichi Maibara. You said it yourself. No matter what, Mion Sonazaki is your greatest friend. But is she, though? Uh, it I needed to hear myself say it out loud. It is... He has done a complete 180 from Chapter 1. In Chapter 1, he did not trust anybody. Now he's like, even though you killed 10 people uh, and admitted to it and you say you're a demon, I still think you're my best friend ever. Like... I know, like, it's probably supposed to be heartwarming, but man, it's just cringy AF to me. <laughs> then came the clattering of the bars in one of the deeper cells, and when I noticed it, I looked up as well. I ran over to the cell. White hands were peeking out through the gaps in the bars. It really was her. Shion's face twisted out of shape as she screamed. It was because Mion had appeared right behind me. Of course. Shion didn't know that everything was over yet. I spoke in as calm a voice as I could manage to try and soothe the agitated Shion. However, it didn't seem like it was getting through her screams. Wait, is that actually Shion? She's not correcting it. Shion, who was screaming and rattling the iron bars back and forth, was truly in a frantic state. Missed opportunity to have a CG here of her in the cell. That would have been terrifying if there was. I gave a slight shrug of resignation, giving way to Mion. I had realized that if Mion was the one who locked her in here, and if Mion was the one who had scared Shion this much, then Mion was also the only one who could put an end to this. Mion spoke from over my shoulder. Quietly. She's gonna kill us in front of her. 
<laughs> because guess what? I told you this would happen, you stupid idiot. She burst out into a bizarre laugh, as if trying to make Shion's madness even worse. Shion broke out into a fierce shiver, brought on by that laugh, and rattled the iron bars as she wailed. <laughs> I'm still expecting this to actually be Shion and the one in the cell to be Mion. I'll be disappointed if that doesn't happen. <laughs> what a moron for doing this! Quick, Keiji, steal her gun! And then shoot her! Sorry, Tomo. Sorry, the Keijan will mean to me, Stimmy said a hunger. Antony will almost you like an eh? Oh, hey, you can show. Punch her in the face! Claw her eyes out! I tried to rebuke Mion for flaming terrible words. Are you this much of an idiot? My gosh! I hate it when the plot is written around people being idiots for no reason! Gah! How is he this dense? Oh, it's because the plot demands it, that's how. When I turned around... There it is. There it is. Mion's mouth, so much that it was hard to believe, it twisted into a shape even thinner than a crescent moon. It was a smile. I could sense it like a jolt of electricity. The person here wasn't my best friend, Mio. You know what, Keiichi? You deserve to die for, for being this dumb. It wasn't that Mio and Sionazaki who had been tossed around by the heavy duty of succeeding the Sonazaki family either. Then, who was she? But, um, I saw sparks flying before my eyes, like what happens when you get hit in the back of the head. The strength of my body drained instantly, and my head suddenly became heavy. My knees buckled under the temptation and hit the floor. Then my whole body abruptly collapsed. My face should have hit the floor, but it was comfortable, as if I had fallen into a down-filled futon. My consciousness reeled, then receded. It was the kind of sensation, like if you took a nap in the car, but you were still half awake and could listen to your parents talking as if they were far away. No, you wouldn't be listening, you would only be hearing it. It was happening so far away, and the conversation was completely unrelated to you, so you would have no interest in it. So whether Shion was yelling in my ears, or Mion was in vulgar hysterics, I didn't think it was annoying, nor did it interest me. Uh, I've seen creepier CGs. <laughs> Mion held me up from behind and dragged me across the floor. The soles of my feet scraped on it and one of my shoes fell off. <laughs> Dane, though. That voice actress is very, very talented. Shion's emotions exploded outward, and she burst into bitter weeping. As if her crying had whetted Mion's interest, she held flun... She held flun me down, and then returned to the prison cell again. That... That doesn't make sense as a sentence. <laughs> Wait, is it actually Mion? Why? Wait, I'm kind of disappointed. But but she, the one in the prison, outright admitted that she was Mion. So I guess either my fury was. I feel like I feel a bit cheated. I feel like my fury was really good. <laughs> Shion had already acted like she were a cut above her older sister. That Shion, in such a miserable voice that I couldn't have imagined it during those peaceful times. 
prostrated herself before the older sister she used to scoff at and pleaded forgiveness. Mion looked down with an expression of cool indifference, one that was plainly smiling of joy. I don't feel bad for not giving you the doll anymore. ありがとうございます。じゃあさ、これまでのことを謝って見せてよ。そうしたら私もこれまでのことをすっかり水に流してあげてもいいかな。そうしたら、ケイちゃんだけは見逃してあげなくもないよ。Mion said that she might let me go, but she never said anything about letting Shion go. Before long, Shion got on her hands and knees behind the bars and began to speak weak words of apology. They were too faint for me to hear, but their intention got across. Despite having watched her with just a magnificently jubilant expression, Mion kicked the bars and declared she was unsatisfied. <laughs> Mion stopped and waving her hand again in resignation. Not because she had grown impatient, but only because she was taking delight in abusing Shion. Okay, you know what you know what better happened here? I want her to be so busy evilly gloating that she doesn't notice how much time has passed, and then Rena and the police force come bursting in. Rena with the hatchet, the police with their guns, and then they save us at the end. I don't think this is going to happen, because this is only chapter two out of... I don't even know how many chapters there are. Oh my gosh, she was taking delight in abusing Shion. What a butt. It's almost like we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Shion's miserable voice cried out, having become utterly hoarse. The sensation tearing through my chest returned a little at a time. I realized it was feelings of anger bubbling up. I was slowly regaining control of my body. However, I was only able to feel my skin and my blood flowing at the moment. I still couldn't voluntarily move my fingers. This is horrible. Something was strange. Something had become strange at some point. Oh my gosh, I think I'm losing IQ points just listening to how much of an idiot this guy is. Until just a few moments ago, I was sure this had been Mion, but at some point, at some point, she had become someone else. The Mion I knew well would never do something so nasty like enjoy trampling all over someone's dignity like this. But they didn't twin swap because they both admitted that they're the twin they say they are. Unless the person in the jail cell is only calling this one Mion and her older sister because she was threatened in advance to never say the truth. Either that or it is demon possession. <laughs> when I ran over to Shion's cell earlier, had the real Finn been swapped out with a fake right behind me? Anyway, this couldn't possibly be Mion. お姉様の足元にも及ばない。昨日ほど終わりまいず。え、様に当たらいた。数々のプレーを思い出す。ふらふらその調子、少しは許してあげようかなって気になってきたよ。Blood circulated through my whole body. My numbed senses were returning. Just a little more. While Shion is holding Mion's... No, that thing pretending to be Mion's attention. Hurry up. 
よしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよ It was none other than the laugh of a demon from the bowels of the earth. She laughed from her stomach until she grew tired of it and stopped smiling suddenly as if snipping a wire. Bad news, KG, if that actually is a demon possessing Mion's body, you have no chance of beating it in a fist fight. Mion. <laughs> Began to drag me again, and until I finally got the feeling of my body back, she pulled me towards the torture chamber. After dragging me to the torture chamber, she skillfully strapped me into the restraining table. Before I knew it, I was sprawled out and bound. She forced open my hands, with which I couldn't even make a satisfying fist, then tightly restrained each one of my fingers. She fastened only my hands and my fingers at that, tightly with hinges, and locked them in place. <laughs> The door to the big cave with the jails had been left open, so I could hear Shion's cries of mortification the entire time. <laughs> Bad ass! <laughs> the feeling in my body returned, and the first action I took was to tell off that fiend that looked like Mion. <laughs> Yeah, which time? Sion will each one Mugotarask Korostia Roto Motte Tojikomete Oitakedo. Mada Omoitskana it eat the ets. Mhm. Ariga Uso. Wonderful. Mion brought over something like a toolbox. From inside it, she removed a large metal hammer, and next to that, she began to line up what looked like long, strangely shaped tool or nails that whose ends had been turned into what looks like the kind you'd see on a harpoon. Anokoni. 自分のせいで死ぬ大勢の人の悲鳴をたっぷりと聞かせて体の芯まで染み通らせてから殺すのなかなかセンスいいでしょ<笑>お前は誰だはミオンでしょ園崎ミオン恐怖で頭が変になっちゃった<笑>違うなお前が。Mion snorted and continued her preparations for the horrifying torture. Give me multiple choice. Give me multiple choice. Onita. Huh? You're not Mion. You're not Mion. I'm not Mion. I'm not Mion. I'm not Mion. I'm not Mion. Mion stood there for a few moments of her jaw hanging open, not having expected me to say that. I knew myself knew that I was about to go insane. I knew it was nonsense to demand Mion's return when she was right in front of me. But, but. This person in front of me couldn't possibly have been Mion. There was no way I could accept that. So, this is what I thought. Mion really had been possessed by a demon, and it was controlling Mion as if it were a separate personality. Mion was just a victim of being manipulated by it. The evil one was really this thing. It all had to be the work of this demon possessing her. Can you laugh for maybe another five minutes so the police can arrive? 
When Mion heard that, she started to guffaw, laughing so hysterically that she started to cough and almost choked. That's how we do it! Make her laugh so she- make her die laughing! Oh man, you've clearly never seen Bill Burr's comedy routines. Well, you gotta use your options. <laughs> use the force, Keiichi. No matter what, I couldn't lose to that laughter of hers. I shouted loudly. I shouted from the bottom of my heart, so that the real Mion trapped inside the Mion I saw in front of me would be able to hear. Come on, Mion! <laughs> the tears welled up and flooded, flooded down her face. Her hands were busy with the restraints, so she couldn't even wipe them. She just let them flow. <laughs> Mion, desperately enduring her laughter, laughter pressed one of the long nails to the tip of my left pinky. In her left hand was the hammer. At the sides were a dozen more nails. I could tell what she was about to do, though I wish I couldn't. Even so, I couldn't afford to be scared. That was why I shouted. <笑>お腹の筋肉が<笑> But what's weird is Mion hasn't gotten the reptile eyes during this time. I definitely expected her to have the reptile eyes. Thus, I wept. Only sobs came out. They weren't an acceptance of the torture about to be performed, however. They were tears of regret that Mion had lost to the demon. Yet a small change did occur in the Mion in front of me. Her heightened excitement was draining little by little. By the time I'd realized it, the one in front of me had returned to being Mion. Kei-chan, maid no miyage, nante kino kiita mono ja nai keredo. Dou shite mo shirita gatte iru yo da kara, hitotsu dake oshiete ageru yo. I didn't know if this was Mion or just a display of momentary humanity the demon had recovered. Atashi no naka ni oni ga yadotta no wa zuibun mai. Sono oni wa atashi o mushibami. だけれど私はそれを理性で抑えつけた。鬼はそれで収まり、私はその鬼はどこかへ行ってしまったんだと思い込んでいた。でも、本当は違った。私の中から出て行ったんじゃなく、私の中で眠っていただけだったの。Tears forming in her eyes. So no this better not have happened just because you were horny. The tears welling up in her eyes spilled downward all of a sudden. 
躊躇なく私に渡していたなら。Oh, are you really gonna try to pass all of this psychotic demonic behavior off because you got snubbed for a doll? I was somewhat joking when I said that earlier. You know, me on. Whatever. The doll I got. That doll that I got when we had our club meeting at the toy store that Sunday. k e i chan には理解できないだろうね理解できなくて当然だけどねそこからドミノ倒しみたいにパタパタパタといろんなものが倒れ始めて。みよん、this is why you don't play with, with Ouija boards because then stuff like this can't happen。はじめの小さな一つを倒したあなたに自覚がないのは当然だろうけどあなたが元凶なの。そんな。俺があんたがミオンを泣かさなかったら私は起きなくて済んだのにね。あはん。いや、way to pass the buck。これで十分 ?So you're telling me that I'm to blame for everything that's to happen just because I gave a doll to Rena instead of you.This is what we call never my fault syndrome, also known as narcissism. メイドの土産は。A mistake that I'd made on that day was what messed everything up. So, who's t h o Yes! Thank you, DX. Nemo, m a g i r e m o n a k g e n k o n a n o k e c h a Mion, I'm, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice that. I think applies to absolutely everybody and is a good piece of advice to keep in mind for your life. In life, you cannot control what happens to you, but you can always control how you react to it. At that time, if you didn't give me a lot of money, I would have never been able to do this. But I'm not going to do that. I wanted to say, ah, like I just remembered something, as I recalled that day. Rena had told me about that, and I thought I had apologized. I didn't apologize to Mion, though. It had been. she o w n In other words, oh god. I hadn't said a single word of apology to Mion. Today I came to this house saying I had something to apologize for, but I never said a word of apology about this. Come to think of it, when I apologized for going into the ritual storehouse, Mion looked a little bit lonely, like she was disappointed. Keiji, are you really going to be like, this is my fault that this torture is happening because I didn't apologize for not getting the doll? Like, are you serious? Are you that much of a doormat? Why didn't I realize it till now? Rena had told me at the time, and now she herself, no, the demon was telling me. Is the only way for a dense idiot like me to be cured to die altogether? Oh, hey, Marty's playing Spiritfarer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could no longer hold back the hot tears from pouring out of me. I simply just cried and cried and reflected indifferently on the taste of my tears, on the taste of regret. That's gonna be real freaking painful! この調子で十五本の釘で左手を打ちつける。Ow. それが終わったら次は右手。それが終わったら次は。まだ意識があったら教えるね。指先ってたくさんの神経が集まってるから。Oh yeah, I know. が想像するよりも。I had just a tiny bit of like the the top layer of my skin peel off near my thumb. And it like hurts like crazy if I even like just touch it. It's not even like my whole skin for like to show the blood. It was literally just like the top layer of skin. And it freaking hurts like mad. If you ever had a hangnail, oh, this is, this is a different kind of hangnail. I wonder why. You know, it would be a little classier to just slit my throat. 
or use that gun of yours to like shoot me in the forehead. Me and press the tip of the nail to the left of my pinky finger. My wrists, my arms, and all the joints in my fingers were snapped, strapped in so tightly it hurt, and I couldn't even twitch. Ooh. I don't know. You're you're an insane person. If it will sate the demon, then do to me what you What are you doing? You do not give in to demons. Period. Are you insane, Keiji? Is this actually gonna freaking work? Mion was silent. She did, however, wait for me to speak. この後に及んで自分よりシオンの心配ができるわけ。もう一つは気が済んだらもうお前は消えろ。その体を身をに返してやってくれ。a little confused? He's a lot confused. それだけだ。あんたって人には命乞いをするとかそういう考えは思い浮かばないの約束。なあ。二つじゃなくて三つ目は俺を殺すなにしてくれ。Nope. In such an abnormal situation, Mion and I laughed quietly together, as if sharing in a stupid joke. This, this would nip. Let's just keep going. If she actually is possessed by a demon, no way. They just like evil. I recalled tightening my hands into fists when enduring the pain at all at the dentist's office. Right now, though, they were open all the way to my fingertips, so I couldn't even grip them. So instead, I tightened my toes. Are we gonna have to sit through a torture scene now? Okay, do it. I've prepared myself already, so do it. You waiting there like this to hammer the nails is and it is scarier. It's going to diminish my readiness after all. Mion put down the hammer and gently stroked my cheek. My third wish to save me. She'll agree to it? Kitotsumenonegai.Shion.Sukoto.Korewa.Mumuri.Shion.Oniga.Koroshi.Shima.Sorewa.Mumuri.Sorewa.Mumuri.Sorewa.Mumuri.Sorewa.Mumuri.
こんなに頭が回るのだけは計算外だったなそれについては同感だよミオン grinned like she'd been outwitted then took something that looked like an electric razor out of her pocket when she pressed the switch pale blue sparks flew out with a snapping noise 見たことないでしょ Is this a taser? 本物のスタンガンだよ。違法品なんで、かなり出力が上げられるようになってるけどね。<笑> I've set my laser from stun to kill. さっき、俺に食らわせたのはそれか。I, I told you guys! In chapter 2, Rena is the real winner. Like 100%。子供のおもちゃには向かねえぞ。<笑>そうだね。She seemed to want to use the stun gun on me. Unable to move, I let her press the cool lump of metal to my neck. I heard a roar as though they'd broken down the large, first large door. The halls were a bit complex, but aside from the door to this very torture chamber, there was nothing in their way. Oh, so she's not going to torture us because Rena was a Chad. Feeling the same shock as before. Gritting my teeth wasn't going to help much, but I clenched them tightly anyway. However, just as she did, she was about to hammer the nails in, she hesitated a little. I cracked open my tightly closed eyelids. Yeah, that would be the common sense thing to do. What are you talking about? Just as I tried to say that, a much stronger light than before shined, and like a television being switched off, my consciousness went black. Is that really the sound that a taser makes? I don't think so. We are going to wake up with a very, very painful、uh, hand ache. Twisted Sisters, learn the truth. I don't think we did learn the truth! June 1983. A strain of disappearance has occurred in Hinamizawa Village, Shishiboni City、uh, Redacted Prefecture. The suspect is Mion Sonazaki. She's boop years old. She is suspected to have kidnapped five Hinamizawa residents between June 19th and June 21st. Oreo Sonazaki, Shion Sonazaki, Kichiro Kimiyoshi, Rika Furude, and Satoko Hojo imprisoned them and killed them. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but it was resolved coincidentally and shockingly. On the morning of the 23rd, a vehicle patrolling the Sonazaki property heard screams from inside and rushed in as an emergency measure. They secured the suspect's missing younger sister, Shion Sonazaki, and her two missing classmates, Keiichi Maibara and Renan Ryugu. The suspect fled the scene. Deep in the detached basement on the Sonazaki property, which is believed to have been used to kill those who disappeared, we discovered hair, flakes of skin, blood, etc., of the four of her missing persons Oreo Sonazaki, Kichiro Kimiyoshi, Rika Furude, and Satoko Hoijo. We concluded that the missing persons were tortured in the torture chamber. Oh, man! Why did you do that to Rika and Satoko? They did not deserve that. I do not want to think about how they had to deal with that. Yeesh. However, their remains have still not been found. At one of her imprisoned classmates' advice, we continued searching the detached basement of the Sonazaki property, which is where they were imprisoned, believing that they were there. However, we have not located them or the suspect's escape route. I knew it! They had a secret underground tunnel that she would escape through! It's almost like everyone was an idiot. In addition, investigations are continuing as to her participation in the serial freak death incidents of recent years, thinking it would give some clue. But no evidence that Mion Sonazaki was involved, either directly or indirectly, has been found. There are still many unclear points as to the motive behind the incident. And as those of the Sonazaki family and the residents of Hinamizawa have been extremely uncooperative in assisting us, we expect to require a long time to clarif clarify them. The opinion of a local officer knowledgeable about the region is that this may have been a lynching, an internal form of punishing sacrilegious acts carried out against the beliefs of Hinamizawa village. It is clear that these incidents are particularly rooted in this region, and the prefectural police department has ordered a cautious investigation. We anticipated gaining valuable cars from the missing person believed to have been imprisoned for the longest time, Shion Sonazaki, the suspect's younger sister. But her mind was stricken by the grave after effects of the incident, and she has not been in a state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. 
The psychiatrist concluded that she's in a temporary state of shock, but it doesn't seem hopeful that she will recover today either.